So let's take a look at my top five things, at least five things to do. Actually, for myself, I counted about 20 things, but we'll save that for a future topic. So let's take a look at the top five things to do after installing Ubuntu Mate. All right, the first thing you do, you want to do, is to check for updates. And really, you should do this for any Linux-based system. So run the software updater. And if it tells you to reboot, you should reboot. In my case, it's telling me to install now or remind me later. So I'll just click to remind me later. All right, so the second thing is the welcome screen. If you are used to running Ubuntu Mate or Linux in general, you may want to skip the welcome screen to speed things, uh, speed things up a bit at login, at boot. So I'll just click not to start up the welcome screen. All right, number three, install the Synaptic Package Manager. This is really a powerful tool for installing and deleting software. I've been using this since, uh, well, since 2006. It's never let me down. Uh, it's not entirely for beginners. However, it's not that difficult to learn. Uh, you can install this through the Ubuntu Mate uh, Software Boutique. I've already installed this as you see here, but definitely check out the Synaptic Package Manager. All right, next thing I like to do if you are installing this on a laptop is to enable the time remaining here on the panel. Now this is especially useful if, if you want to know if you're running on battery power, how much time is left before your computer will shut down or go to sleep. And it can also tell you how much time is left before the battery has a full charge. Now it says here about 13 hours. I'm actually using the wrong charger. And finally for this one, the last thing I like to do when running Ubuntu Mate on a laptop is to quickly shut down the computer by just closing the lid. And here, all you have to do is go into the power preferences and just choose the option to shut down the computer when you close the lid. Again, very simple. And that's it. My top five things to do, at least to get you started when installing Ubuntu Mate. If you have any other tips, please let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, enjoy Ubuntu Mate. Take care.